The year is 2050. And somewhere in Colorado, a wild trout in a clear mountain stream darts about at the end of an angler's line. A determined hunter and his elusive target engage in an American tradition that embodies the true spirit of fair chase. A snowy trail leads hikers into a quiet mountain forest at a state park. And something wild and free provides an inspiring glimpse into the very essence of nature. Ironically, none of these events would be real if not for the foresight and the combined efforts of Coloradans many years ago. Back then, all of these activities required considerable funding to maintain and to preserve them for future generations. And remarkably, none of this funding came from tax dollars. So if not from taxes, where did the money come from? Hunters and anglers contributed the bulk of the funding. Money from the purchase of licenses helped support all wildlife, including non-game and threatened or endangered species. In addition, hunters and anglers also contributed when they purchased their equipment. Manufacturers of hunting and fishing equipment paid more than a billion dollars each year in excise taxes. These funds were then distributed to state agencies for wildlife restoration and enhancement. Colorado's 42 state parks relied on funding that came from several sources, including the sales of parks passes, campground fees, and registration fees for boats, snowmobiles, and off-highway vehicles. Many Coloradans also made significant contributions to the funding of parks and wildlife through Great Outdoors Colorado. GOKO invested around $60 million each year from the Colorado Lottery toward the preservation and enhancement of the state's parks, trails, wildlife habitat, and open spaces in all 64 counties. Down through the years, these programs and campaigns encouraged and introduced new generations to the wonders and the importance of wildlife and the great outdoors. And now, it is our generation that must look ahead to ensure enjoyable and sustainable outdoor recreation for all of Colorado's residents and visitors. Learn more at cpw.state.co.us.